Hey guys, Ben here at our Tennessee headquarters. And for this video, we'd like to address something that comes up quite a bit, hacking the Digitrigger. Uh, there's been a lot of concern about this. There's been especially concern about somebody hacking a Digitrigger 1.2 so that it functions as a Digitrigger 1.6. So just to kind of make a quick analogy for you guys, that's kind of like taking a four function calculator and hacking it so that it works the same way as a scientific calculator. Now, I don't want to say that that's impossible. I'm sure somebody like Tony Stark or somebody at that level could do it, but it's highly unlikely. And the reason is a Digitrigger 1.2 has an AR-15 trigger group and two buttons of functionality. Whereas a Digitrigger 1.6 utilizes an M16 trigger group, which has an additional auto sear, a full auto hammer, and it has six modes of functionality. Now, if you could somehow hack yourself a new grip and a new trigger group, if you did try and hack into our circuit board, it would wipe the source code as soon as you did. So after you did all that hacking, you'd have to go ahead and, and put your programming hat on and program yourself some new source code to run the board. And then after you did all of that, you'd also be looking at prison time. So don't worry about hacking, guys. No one's gonna hack your Digitrigger 1.2. Go ahead, take it to the range, and have all the fun you want. Thanks a lot.